guys, this is, this is unbelievable. What's up world? Today is my final day in California, putting my seven week string of adventure, fun, community, connection to a close. Um, not that that's a bad thing, you know, just going on to the next adventure. But yeah, I woke up here in Santa Monica on my gracious friend Sitare's couch. Check out Sitare Katibi's channel right here. And right now I'm getting ready to go to Robbie Barbero's house and check out the infamous fruit rack. Robbie Barbero buys and eats probably the highest quality fruit out of anyone in the United States. I guarantee it. That guy knows how to pick good fruit, eat good fruit, and I'm super stoked to go check it out. So I'm gonna drive there right now and I hope uh, to keep vlogging some throughout the day, show you guys my journey back to Missouri. I have been following Robbie's fruit situation on the internet for probably five or six years, a while. And uh, it's his, it's more legit in person than it is through video. I mean, he, it's just, this is a science, it's a process. That what goes into, uh, you know, making sure you're supplied with high quality food on a daily basis. He probably eats the highest quality fruit of anyone in the country. Um, maybe the world, I don't know. Like the, the, the time and just like, I'm sure, you know, the, the pleasure, the amount of pleasure he gets out of each meal totally. compared to the standard American yeah. is just off the charts. Every meal is dessert. You know, I mean, like, like it, it can be expensive. Like, it takes time. It take, you have to invest the money. And uh, to me, it's worth it. Like, what is more important than my health? Like, I don't spend any money on alcohol. I don't spend any money on restaurants. Mm. I, don't spend, I don't spend money on dumb stuff. I don't, like, go to the movie all the time. But, like, you can save money in other areas to spend it on, like, this, like, every single day. Three times, three times a day, four times a day. I sit down and eat, like, just... I'm just I'm like, bliss, man. I mean, look at these cherimoyas. I cannot wait for these cherimoyas to ripen. This is a particular variety. And this is the booth variety. And it's just, it's insane. It's unbelievable. And oh then the mangoes, God. Valencia Prides. Then we got white sapote right here. I know it's green on the outside, but it's white on the inside, everybody. Mm. Uh, these tomatoes, these are, I mean, at this time of year, it's hard to find good tomatoes. These are extremely good tomatoes from a particular farm where most of the other farms' tomatoes are not good right now. This is another variety of cherimoya from a different farm. That's from Garcia. Mm. And, uh, you know, we got these mangoes aren't so good. So these I got cheap at the wholesale market. I'm probably not gonna eat them because mm. I got other ones. And these are good too. These are uh, tangerines. Mm. And let's see, the fridge is pretty, is in good shape. Let's show the fridge. What do we got in here? Uh, figs right now. I mean, who is eating figs in the middle of December? It's unbelievable. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, man. Like a green. This is this isn't just spinach, guys. This is Bloomsdale spinach. Okay, so that's amazing. And then uh, let's see. We've got more white chipotle, more mangoes, cauliflower, pomegranate. These are grapes right there. Some zucchinis. There's special. There's like this is also another. Special variety of spinach. It's called Arrowhead. Well, those and grapes. It's, it's not very like acidic. It's less less acid in there. I got carrots in here. Let's see. This is a cool variety of lettuce. I mean, it's not really a special variety, but it looks cool. This is. Uh, I think it's just like a typical butter. But look at that. It's just beautiful. Oh my god, man. So, anyways, yeah, man. The food situation here is good. I love it. Uh, I think it's an important part of life. So. Yeah, you can eat a 100% from the farmer's market. You can, you can. I don't, because I buy a lot of stuff at the wholesale. I get papaya at the yeah. wholesale market. Incredible I get price. mangoes. Uh, but you, you can eat all local if you wanted to, year round. It's incredible. Hell yeah. So good. I might uh, take one of these Valencia Pride 100%. mangoes with me. Absolutely. Which I'm super appreciative of. You got it, man. Um, yeah, I have to get back here. The community here is top notch. The food's top notch. The weather's top notch. Like. Yeah, you, you can't beat it. Oh. Mm. California grown, man, right? Straight up, right outside of San Diego. I've been to the farm. I can't reveal the address. Mm. I've been told. No address revealing, but. Yep. Holy smokes, you guys. Look at this view. Life, life. It is life. This is real life. <laughs> 
How cold do you think that water is in there? It's freezing. <laughs> so the key here is not to think about it at all. Okay. Don't hesitate. Just go. Just do it. I'm on a beach, my shirt off, running barefoot in the middle of December with a good friend. And uh, man, I just feel like I did something right in a past life to deserve this. I mean, I feel so immensely present and thankful for all of this. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy I get to share it with you guys. The amount of bliss I feel right now is off the charts. Holy crap, what kind of animal is that? Look at that. I leave in like five hours, not very long. So Satare, we've hung out in Tennessee, hung out in California. Where are we gonna hang out next? <laughs> Yeah, but I'm excited big, either way. It doesn't matter. It's a big matter. question mark. <laughs> Somewhere else it's just as beautiful. Yeah. It's funny. It's kind of like once you accept that everywhere is beautiful, that just continues to manifest. It is. I mean, yeah. Once you're, you're happy within yourself and uh, yeah, you can be happy wherever. Exactly. But it doesn't hurt when you're shirtless on a beach in the middle of December. <laughs> Let me tell you that much. I was like three quarters of the way to the airport and uh, realized I forgot this parking pass on my car mirror. So now I'm turning around and I'm gonna meet Satare like halfway home so I hopefully don't miss my flight, but. You guys, these are moments where it's important to breathe. I'm stressed, <laughs> worried I might not make my flight, but I have faith. You guys, I made it. It's been a crazy last hour, hour and a half, two hours. Leaving Satares, getting about all the way here, realizing that I forgot Tara's uh, parking pass in my car, and then going all the way back to Satares. <laughs> and then, well, actually I didn't go all the way back. Uh, she met me part way, thankfully. It saved me about 10 minutes, and those 10 minutes were crucial because if I were 10 minutes later, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened. Um, once I got here, I dropped off the rental car. I hopped in a trolley and the trolley had like two stops before I got to LAX. Traffic was crazy, it was delayed. And then we had to tell the trolley driver to let us off early. Another girl was about to miss her flight. And uh, then we ran across the road. I was just sprinting with my backpack and my uh, heavy suitcase. And this is where it pays off to be a distance runner because I uh, really had to haul, but made it here okay. And uh, once I got inside, I talked to the security people over there and they let me go right to the front of the line. And yeah, here I am. Everyone's getting ready to board and I am gonna be okay. My dad sent me a text a couple days ago saying, I bet you $5 you miss your flight in LA, so better pay up, Dad. Well, I just arrived in Springfield, Missouri, my final destination. My friend Mike's gonna pick me up here in a few minutes, and uh, yeah, feels good to have the travel done with. Springfield Airport before, but this is kind of cool. We got Abe Lincoln and Brad Pitt right next to each other. Uh, look at the smile on that look guy. Oh man, it's good awesome. seeing you. And home. And it's been a wonderful whirlwind of a day. Waking up, having awesome fruit at Robbie's house, going on a beautiful run on the beach with Satare, having a deep conversation with her, and then driving to the airport, you know, 
having to turn back around, rushing back to my flight. Um, but you know, it's, uh, it's what makes life an adventure. And I'll leave you guys with what's been on my whiteboard the entire time I've been gone from Missouri. A nice reminder to live deliberately.